Well, a pair of drownings this past summer led to massive searches, and it also claimed the lives of two young boys with autism. Those deaths are raising awareness of a program that can help first responders track missing persons more quickly. Rich and I shows us how the system works and gives families a safe peace of mind. Children with autism sometimes have a tendency to wander off. If they do, this device and that chirp you hear might save their life. They don't understand safety. They don't understand depths of water, things like that. So there's a lot more risks in being able to teach a person with autism a lot of the safety awareness that they would need to remain safe. The Wayne Indicator Township and Morgan County Fire Departments ran a rescue simulation at Daymar Services using Project Lifesaver. The first thing we do is to do a 360 because the victim could be in the home or whatever the last seen location was. The receiver listens for a radio signal sent by a bracelet transmitter worn by people who tend to wander off. It's over here to our right. You know the time is critical, so you were hustling. Absolutely, yes, because kids, especially kids with autism, are attracted to water, so whenever... You know, we go on a search. We take everyone seriously. Here she is. I found her. I found her. I found the victim. Are you okay? The drill victim, Marlena, was found about 300 yards away in just over five minutes. Searches this summer in Brownsburg and Perry Township took many hours before the boys with autism were found in retention ponds 100 yards from the homes. I know it would have made a difference. Um, because they would have been found, you know, a lot sooner instead of overnight or, you know, hours later. So it would have made a difference. So, I mean, it's, it's if you have a child that wanders, has a history, they need to be on Project Lifesaver. Kim Cease's son, Derek, was the first person in Indiana to wear the tracking device when he was 10 years old. He's 21 now and still wears it for safety. With Project Lifesaver, it only took firefighters just a few minutes to find Marlena because she was wearing this bracelet. Contact your local public safety agency for more information. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.